Bruna Gozer shows how the cleanup effort got started with a tragic incident off this island near Bergen, Norway. It happened in January 2017. A rare Cuvier's beaked whale was found stranded in shallow waters. Every attempt to herd it back to the open sea failed. The whale was weak and emaciated and eventually had to be euthanized. When scientists at the University of Bergen examined the whale, they made a discovery. Its stomach was full of plastic bags. People in Norway were horrified by the images. Tens of thousands flocked to the beaches to help. The Coastal Service had about 60,000 trash bags on hand, enough for five years. But in no time at all, they were all gone. Everybody wanted to go out and collect plastic waste. Rune Grosser used to work for the oil industry. Now he joins teams of volunteers to clean up plastic trash along the countless inlets, bays and islands of Norway's west coast. Today's destination is a small, uninhabited island off Bergen. These volunteers are members of a society of engineers. Most of the waste that washes onto shore here comes from Britain or big ships. Many of the bags and bottles have disintegrated into bits and pieces. For the plastic collectors, it's a never-ending task. The deeper you dig, the more you turn up. It's pretty frustrating. After this experience, I'll be even more careful about using plastic, and I'll make sure that I dispose of it properly. Even the snacks the volunteers have brought along are sealed in plastic. Avoiding plastic entirely isn't easy. We want to put pressure on industry and the government to look for alternatives to the use of plastic. For me personally, I'd like to keep on catching lobster here in the sea at my doorstep. And I'd like my kids to be able to do that too. Just four hours of work have yielded five trash bags filled with plastic. Back home, Runa Goser posts what they've achieved on the internet. The site keeps track of every section of coastline the collection team cleans up. Given the length of Norway's coastline, that's a Herculean task. But meanwhile, every political party in the country supports the initiative. Studies have shown that for every corner or euro the state spends on supporting the volunteer effort, it gets ten times that value back in return. First because of the cleanup work itself, but also because of the way it boosts environmental awareness and social solidarity. Runa Gosher and other activists have had a plaque set up at the place where this environmental initiative began in memory of the whale that came to such a painful end here. With a stomach full of plastic, you brought us the message about what is happening to the oceans. Thank you for waking us up. A wake-up call that's intended to be heard far beyond the coast of Norway.